Hey guys, um, so today we are talking about um, degree and camshaft, so intake center line, however you want to say it, I'll probably link it more than one way um, in the tags. But anyways, um, what you need to do to start with, if you haven't checked that video, you have to find your top dead center. I'll link that above, um, how I do a drop valve method. Um, and there is more than one way to do it, but that's just a drop valve method. You can do it with the um, on a 12 valve or anything that has a time pin. You can do it that way, it's not as accurate more accurate to do drop valve method or to do a stop method or with a dial connector indicator with the head off, which I'll probably do on the next one I assemble just so that I can show you guys the differences, um, just make it easier that way. So I've already figured out top dead center. So we have our degree wheel on here and I have the dial indicator set up. So we're gonna check intake center line. Um, so all I do is just, I got, there's a you know a little sharp point on the end of that, which sits inside the, inside the push rod on these ones. So what we need to do is we need to bring this to the top of the stroke of the, the lobe of the cam. So you know, it's just hard to, hard to watch everything here all at once. So your zero there, not just perfect. This isn't like just the perfectest way to do it. I wish there was a, a better, I should actually maybe build a tool for doing this or something. I don't know. This is very, very, like it's close, close enough for what I'm going to after. You're getting into really crazy. Like if I'm building um, a race engine, um, we do it with the cylinder head off. And I do have a, a setup for a, for doing it that way. Um, but with the cylinder head on, it's not long enough to reach down inside there. So now that we're at the very highest point on the camshaft at this point, now where that's where we're zeroed off. What we're gonna do is, is we're gonna turn the engine counterclockwise to bring it down off of that. And we're gonna go down 50 thou. And the reason that you go down 50 thou is so that you can figure out where the top of the, the cam lobe is. So we're at 50 thou there now, and we're at 55 degrees. So you can see the pointer, we're at 55 degrees. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, okay, hold on a second here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the 55 that we have, and then we're gonna plus the next number. So what we gotta do is we gotta do it go around the opposite direction. Now, we gotta go around the opposite direction. We're gonna come back up to that zero. And as you see, like you're coming around on your marks there. So then we're coming down. Go 50 thou again. Now, we have 133 in a little bit. 132. Let me look at that. No, sorry, 132. So 132 and a half, something along that line. So we're gonna plus, because the half does make a difference at this point. Um, so 132 and a half. I should buy, what I need to do is I need to buy a bigger one of these. I used to have a bigger one, but I can't find it. I bought it, I used this one for a while and then I bought a bigger one. The only thing with the bigger one is, is that it hits this, even if I did find it, that'd take water pump off. But when you're doing it on the floor or when you're doing it on the, the bench or whatever, there's nothing in the way, right? So anyways, um, so what we do is you, you add your first number to your second number and then you divide by two. So we're gonna do that. So 55, my camera thing here, 55 plus, 132 and a half, ah, apparently I don't know how to use a calculator, plus 132 and a half equals, and then divide by two. So we're 93 and three quarters. So for error of margin, a Colt stage four camshaft, the intake center line on it, you want 93 and a half. So like that much difference, it's within a degree or so, and I'm I'm happy with that for what I'm doing. So that's how you check. Um, that's how you do a camshaft. Usually you do intake center line, um, and these are CNC ground cam camshafts. So if the intake is good, the exhaust is good. Now, if you're getting into an issue with the engine not running properly, um, you can go in and um, you know if you're not building power you want, you can go in and retard timing or advanced timing. Uh, we'll get into that in a later video. Uh, I don't wanna get into that now. Um, probably get into that actually when we get the dyno. When I get the dyno, I'll probably get into that when I, we do camshafts. And what I'll do is, is I'll buy an adjustable um, timing gear 
for the cam, uh, for the cam set like, blah, blah, for the camshaft and um and if i don't uh, actually i think you can buy a cover actually so you can adjust it i'll probably just make one uh for simplicity's sake but and then you can sh then i can show you um right on the dyno that's the big thing is that's the reason i want the dyno um so you can sh so i can show on there uh the um positives and the negative of doing that same with the you know the, the p pump you know timing and all that jazz but anyways another video Anyways, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments. Um, it's pretty straightforward to do. Um, you don't really need to, like, you can buy these. I'll link I'll link um, one of these. We will, this one isn't for a Cummins. I actually should build some that actually fit a Cummins. Uh, that'd be kind of cool. I don't know if anybody does or not. Huh, I should look. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, a dial indicator, um, you know, a piece of, that's a piece of TIG wire, but you can use something else. Anyways, I did need to do this. Um, so I wanted to make sure that everything was good. Usually I've only ever had one Colt cam that wasn't right. Ended up actually being, wasn't the camshaft. It was actually the crankshaft that was the issue. Um, so, you know, it's one of those things. Anyways, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments. Please like, please subscribe, please comment. It makes a difference to the algorithm. And I'm trying to get this thing off the, off the, off the ropes here. Um, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.